Oh my God, I can actually see the clothes I have right now. This is amazing. And yes, I know the pole is bending. Everyone always comments on the bending pole. And I'm like, yes, I know. It represents my life. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a wardrobe clear out video. I feel like after last time I couldn't possibly do a wardrobe clear out without filming it and sharing it with you. You guys liked it so much and today is kind of a major one because basically this is kind of news. I'm going to be moving rooms, not moving home, moving rooms. So basically my family are having like a loft conversion, an extension on the house and I'm going to be moving up a level so I'm going to have a whole new room. So yes I'm going to be making lots of like new room content which I'm very excited about and it means that finally I'm going to have some more wardrobe space. Loads of you are always commenting in my like wardrobe video saying how do you have so many clothes in such a small wardrobe. This isn't actually my only wardrobe. I do have another wardrobe in the loft um, which has like my winter clothes when it's summertime and my summer clothes when it's winter time and then I also have a wardrobe downstairs with all of my coats but currently because we're having building work I've had to bring all of my summer clothes from the loft down and kind of put them in here. So what I've done is I've taken out all of my occasion wear so all of my fancy dresses and I've put them into storage because obviously I don't wear them that regularly so if I do have an occasion coming up I can just pop to the storage unit and find the dress that I need. So in here I have like my winter wear. This doesn't really include my tops and jumpers, they're in drawers but I did have a look through and see if there's anything I wanted to throw away and there wasn't really. I kind of use most of my tops. And then on this side is all of my summer dresses that I had to bring down from the loft because obviously we're building into it so I had to bring everything down. So this doesn't really include like my beach wear. I still have a lot of like summer wear that's still in storage. And then there were also a few bits of occasion wear that I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep and um, that I took out before I put the rest in storage. So basically that's what we're working with today. I'm not going to do my shoes because that's just too big a job. I feel like when I have my new wardrobe I'm hopefully going to have like a shoe closet. So I thought we could do like a really cute like shoe organisation and clear out video then. So we have quite a lot to get through but I feel like it's going to be really fun and of course don't forget that I put everything that I clear out on my Depop so you guys can buy it. Most of my stuff is in pristine condition. As you guys know I'm a full on shopper so I have so many clothes that nothing really gets worn to death apart from this blouse that I've worn like five zillion times. If you do have your eye on anything in my wardrobe then make sure you head to my Depop. I might be filtering out over the next couple of weeks because there's going to be quite a lot of stuff and it's really hard to do it all at once. So just follow me and keep an eye every day and see if I'm posting anything new. Also this doesn't include any of the clothes I kept from my haul week videos. They're put away separately and I'm not going to put them away in my wardrobe until I have a little bit more room. So stay tuned. I will do a like what's new in my wardrobe for spring summer video where you can see all of the things that I kept. So now I've done the longest, longest intro in the entire world, let's get started. I'm going to start over this side and I'm just going to pull out my shirts and blouses. So first of all I have this Ted Baker blouse. This is a really simple little peachy pink blouse with a rose gold zip and to be honest I think I'm going to get rid of this because I haven't worn it all winter. Um, I think I got it like a year and a half ago and to be honest I just haven't worn it that much and I just don't think I have room for things that I don't wear so I do love it and I love Ted Baker but I think I'm going to say goodbye to this one. Okay, this is my blouse from Primark that I kept for years because I thought one day I would wear it and to be honest that day hasn't come and I haven't worn it in literally like four years so I have to get rid of this. This is my pyjama blouse from Miss Selfridge which I'm definitely keeping because I really like this. I think it's a really cute style. Um, okay, here we have another Ted Baker blouse. I think I'm going to get rid of this as well. I do think it's very cute but to be honest I like to tuck my blouses into stuff. That's just the way I like to style my clothes and this doesn't tuck in very easily. This is the kind of top that you would wear like over jeans and not tuck it in that's just not really my style so although I do think it's a very cute top I am gonna lose this because yeah I just don't really wear it this is a really pretty blouse I have to keep because look at the back it's just so stunning this was from Windsor which is like an online store this is my Hollister shirt it's just a plain white cotton shirt and I am gonna keep this because I think it's just good to have like staples like this in your wardrobe um I have this top next this is really cute this is a off the shoulder like a bardo little crop blouse this is from Pretty Little thing. I don't know if I should get rid of this or not. It is really cute. I think I'm going to keep hold of this for now. Next I have this blouse which is my warehouse silk blouse. It has all birds on it. I am going to keep this even though I've lost so many buttons off this that I can't even wear it. And it has a little mark on here where I had like body tape on and it got stuck. So it's not really in great condition but I just really like it. I think it's really pretty. So I'm going to hold on to that. Next I have this Zara top. And it's gonna kill people to know that I think I'm gonna get rid of this. To be honest, I really love it. It looks like self-portrait, but it's just very uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie. I find myself not reaching for it because of how it kind of feels. So yeah, 
Bye. And then my final blouse is this one. This is from H&M and it's like a pussy bow blouse. And I just think it feels really expensive. Like it's really nice material and it looks really nice. I don't wear it very often, but it's one of those that I feel again is like classic. You just need like a smart white blouse in your wardrobe. So I am going to keep hold of this as well. I think I did pretty well there. I cleared out four blouses. Um, but like I said, I reserve the right to change my mind. Okay guys. Okay. Next I have this bundle of skirts. The first one is this really gorgeous pink suede skirt. And do you know what? I think I'm going to lose this because last time I did a wardrobe clear out I think I was thinking in my head I'll save this for winter but winter's come and gone and I didn't wear it once so that's just a sign next I have this one which is one of my oldest skirts from Primark I just love it it's high-waisted it's just the kind of style that I like to be honest I haven't worn this in like well a long time but I just can't get rid of it because I think it's so nice and I don't know where I'll find a skirt just like this again so yeah I'm gonna hold on to this one now I have my two grey Zara skirt and honestly I'm feeling really quite emotional at the moment because I knew this day would come and I was dreading it but I think it's time to say goodbye to my beloved Zara skirt. This was once the most beautiful skirt ever, but it's kind of just lost its shape. It used to be really like stiff and it used to stick out and it was very structured. And I just think with time, because I've worn it so much, it just looks really old and like the pleats, they don't stand out anymore. They're just all kind of misshapen and the material's a little bit bobbly. Like I'm not sure even if I should put this on my Depop because I don't think it's in great condition. I think I'm gonna keep hold of this one though because I only got this last spring and I did get quite a lot of wear out of it. I thought it looked really cute even with like a blouse like this, just really simple. I feel like it's a really easy skirt to wear as well. So I'm gonna keep that one. These are my pleated shorts that I love. These are from Miss Selfridge. I definitely have to keep these. I really love these. And then finally I have this skirt this is from Jack Wills and it's one of their like wraparound woolen kilts and to be honest I feel like I forgot about this because I have so much in my wardrobe so I think that when I have more space and I can actually see my clothes I do think I'll wear this more because it's really cute look at the pleats it's like a school skirt I lost two out of six skirts that's not too bad next I have my trousers and I had this exact same dilemma last year and I ended up keeping all of the trousers but now I just feel like I have to be a little bit more ruthless. So here goes. Um, these are my ASOS ones. In fact, I am gonna keep these. I have to keep these. They are really flattering. They have like a tailored look and they're just really cute and they're a lovely color. And yeah, I'm keeping these ones. My frill hem trousers. You guys know I had such a moment for frill hem last year, but this is fashion. I don't know if I want to wear them again. To be honest, I think I'm definitely going to lose the white ones. No, I'm gonna lose them. I'm gonna lose them. And then that leaves me with these two. So two pairs of pink frilly trousers. And I think I prefer these. I'm gonna keep these ones. And we're saying goodbye to both the pairs of frill hem trousers. That was a nice phase, but it's over. Then I have these two skirts, which I missed. This is my one and only midi skirt that I own. Um, and I think it's really cute. I love the tears. I like the color. Lilac is also having such more of a moment than it was last year when I got this. So I think I'm gonna really like wearing this in spring. And this is my Paul and Joe skirt that was so expensive that it's, look, still has the tag in that I refuse to clear out because I'm determined that I'm going to wear it. Okay, now we have a big old chunk of dresses which I'm excited to clear out to be honest. These are some of my winter dresses. This is adorable. I'm keeping this. This doubles up as like a winter dress and a spring summer dress and it desperately needs a clean. This is the dress that I got from Shein. It was £12 and I love it. I'm definitely keeping this. It looks adorable with like a high neck um, jumper underneath. The material has gone a little bit bobbly like I'm starting to see kind of the £12-ness of it but I do really like it. This is a Zara dress that I bought in my autumn winter haul last year and I didn't wear it once. So I'm definitely going to be clearing this out because I just don't have room for things that I don't wear. Then I've got these two cute little dresses from Miss Selfridge. Um, I got it in two colors because I like the dress so much, but it's not necessary to have it in two colors. So to be honest, I think that I will wear this one more just because I have a lot of pink coats, you know, pink bags that are gonna go a lot better with this. And it's also gonna go with a lot more than the pink dress. So I'll keep the brown, toss the pink. Next 
next I have my jumper dresses, which I did actually clear out a few in my last wardrobe clear out, I think. This is the first one. This is actually the first jumper dress I ever got, and it's my favourite. It's from Vera Moda, and I wear it so much, and I really like it, so I'm going to keep this one. Then I have these two from River Island, which again, I liked the dress so much that I bought it in two colours. And I think for this one, I'm going to go for the lighter colour. This is kind of a similar colour to the Miss Selfridge dress, and I just think I like this one more. Then finally, I have these two. This is just a cute little ASOS one. I think this was like a cashmere blend. And then this is the one that I got from Silk Fred that has all pearls on it and these nice balloon sleeves. I think I'm going to lose this ASOS one. I think maybe it's a little bit long for me. I do like my things a little bit more short and fun, although it is really, really cute. But I feel like if I have this one, there's no real need for me to have this one. Part of me kind of wants to get rid of this, but I did just get it. So I feel like maybe I'll keep it and see if I wear it next winter. Um, but I do think I want to keep it for now. And then these are my last few kind of like wintry dresses. This one is from Topshop. It's a little pinafore dress with a little pink scalloped blouse underneath. I'm going to keep those, although I will separate the blouse from the dress. And then I have these two. I have this gorgeous dress that I bought in the Topshop sale over Christmas, which I love. And it's nice to have something like a bit of a different colour as well. And this is a cute Urban Outfitters one that I bought in LA that I haven't really had a chance to wear yet because, again, I feel like it just got buried in my wardrobe and um, I just haven't really worn it yet. But I do really like it, so I'm going to keep all of those. Next, I have a few random bits. This is kind of a mix. Um, this is a Topshop jumper that I haven't really worn. I don't really know why it's hanging up. Usually I don't hang my jumpers up. I don't think I'll wear this during spring and I think that next winter I'll find something similar that I think I'll like more. So I'm going to lose that. This is a really cute dress that I bought from Chicwish. I bought this at like the end of autumn going into winter and it's definitely been too cold to wear this because you don't really want to wear this with tights. You want to wear this with heels, with no coat over the top. I just think it's cute. It's very vintage looking. It kind of reminds me of like Pearl Harbor and um, Kate Beckinsale in Pearl Harbor. It's really cute. Then I have this little Shein combo that I got from my Shein haul. I even wore this in my Pandora Christmas video. It's very cute and it's very horrible fabric that feels horrid on your body and I just don't know what to do about it. I think I might lose the jacket and just keep the dress because I think the dress on its own is very cute. I think this is something that I will wear like in the warmer, warmer weather and I just think maybe with the jacket it's too much. I feel like I'm going to regret this decision but I just need to be ruthless. Then I have this jacket which is also from Shein. Oh, I don't know what to do about this. It's really cute. Look how cute that is. I do think it's lovely, but I just don't think I'll miss it if it's gone. And also on Shein, I swear their stuff doesn't go out of season. They have like the same stuff all the time. So if I ever had the occasion where I was like, I really need that jacket, I could probably just buy it again because it really wasn't expensive. Then I have my beloved classic Zara jacket. This is just going nowhere. It's such a classic. And then my last jacket is this lovely faux fur gilet from Topshop. It's just a really beautiful kind of dusky, pinky champagne-y colour. And I think it looks beautiful and I didn't really wear this very much because it's kind of the thing that you wear on a day where it's a bit chilly and not cold and to be honest our weather has been so cold that I've had to just wear a full-on coat every day so I haven't really had the chance to wear this too much but I do really love it. Next I have some of the occasion wear bits that I wasn't sure about that I thought I'd put in this video and kind of like decide when I filmed it which is now. So first of all I have this dress that you will recognize from my uh, Silk Fred haul and I think I said in the haul that I didn't really like the way it fitted but I just just couldn't send it back like it was just so pretty that I was like I have to give this a try but to be honest you know that was a couple of months ago now and I just don't think I'll reach for it and while we're being ruthless and not just keep things because they're pretty I need to keep things that I think I'll actually wear and I just don't think I'll wear this so this is going okay this dress this breaks my heart this breaks my heart because this was the dress I wore for my 18th birthday party which was one of my favorite nights of my entire life it was incredible and I literally felt a million dollars in this dress I felt amazing amazing but I've only worn it once I've never worn it again and I just don't think I will I feel like this is a nice memory but I just can't hold on to things anymore for the memory it's really hard to let go of things that have sentimental value but I just hope that one of you will love it and buy it and wear it and it's gonna live a happier life than just sat in a wardrobe <laughs> then finally this this is another dress that has sentimental value it's really hard to let go of um, so I just don't know if I'm gonna wear it and I just feel like again maybe somebody else would really love this and wear it and feel amazing in it um, and I just don't don't anymore. I've worn this a handful of times. I've had this since I was like 18. These are the final three fancy dresses. This one I almost cleared out last time and I thought no I'm gonna hold on to it just in case there's an occasion and to be honest like I do still really like it and I do still have the urge to keep it just in case but I just can't do that. I've got too many dresses so I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is my Kate Spade dress. I only just got this at Christmas 
but it's just too big. It's a size six. This is the smallest size they do. The fit just feels too wide on me. I would love this to be a little bit more tight fitting on the body. It's so pretty. Look at this rose gold sequin bow. It's really lovely, but I just don't have room for things that I'm not gonna wear. And then the final dress is this one. I literally only just picked up in the January sales. This is from River Island. It's so beautiful. I wore this at an event um, like a month ago. I just didn't feel quite right in it. I felt like maybe I was a little bit tall for the dress. Like this waist bit was a bit too high and the dress was a bit too short and I just didn't feel right in it but it's absolutely beautiful and I feel like somebody else will really really love this. Now we're on to summer dresses. This is my Ted Baker dress that is so classic. It's the most classic dress in the world and it's just not going anywhere. This dress is from Miss Selfridge. I almost cleared it out last time and I didn't and today is the day that I'm going to get rid of it because I just don't think I'll wear it. This is another Miss Selfridge dress. Oh, actually it's a play suit and it's pretty cute but I just think I have so many nicer things than this. So I'm gonna get rid of that. This is a dress from Chic Wish. This is one of the dresses that I wore in my Frozen video when I was portraying Elsa. And yeah, I do like it, but again, I just don't think I'll wear this again. Um, I do like the colour, I just don't really like the neckline on me. I don't really like v-necks, so I think I will lose this one. Then I've got my Sister Jane dress, which is missing a button, but I do have the button. I need to sew it back on. And um, this is not going anywhere. It's the best dress in the world. I'm definitely keeping all of these dresses. I love them all, and I'm just so excited for the weather to get nicer so I can start wearing them again. This is my Foxy Docs lace dress. It's beautiful. It just fits so nicely. This is my pink Zara dress that I wore to death. My famous misguided dress that I just wore almost every day last summer. And my beautiful Abercrombie tea dress that I did not get anywhere out of because I bought it in LA where it was nice and sunny and then I got home and it was winter. So I'm so excited to wear that this summer. Okay, here's a random top in a load of dresses. It's misguided. It's actually really cute. It's kind of like a suede and it has this cute frilly off the shoulders. I do think I'll get rid of this because I don't really like wearing things that are super cropped. Then I have my Topshop tea dress that I'm obsessed with. It fits so nicely. Also this cute dress from Hollister that I love. Like it's so nice to wear on a hot day. I can take it on holiday. I can also wear it in London when it's hot and I just think it looks really cute so I'm keeping that. Then I have this dress which is from Pretty Little Thing that still has the tag in. I'm gonna get rid of this because if I haven't worn it already I'm probably not going to. Um, I got this because I got the hot pink version for my Elle Woods video and I love the way the dress fits. Um, I didn't like the hot pink and they also did it in a dusky pink but yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this because, like I said, I just, I need to be really, really strict. This is my free people play suit. This is the most beautiful thing ever. I feel like I'll never throw it away. It just looks amazing. I Instagrammed the hell out of it two summers ago. Uh, then I have this dress that I bought in Seville last year, which I love. I think it's so cute. I think it's unusual. It has loads of lovely details. Then I have this dress from Ted Baker. It doesn't really fit me very well. It's a one and I kind of go from zero to one depending on the fit. So if something's quite tight fitting, I'll go for a one. If something's a little bit looser, I'll go for a zero. And this isn't super tight, and I feel like it's a little bit long for my taste as well, but it's brand new, it's very beautiful, so I think that somebody else will really love this. This is my River Island, like, floral 70s outfit. I wore this for an Instagram photo, and then I never wore it again, which I think is a sign. I do think it's really cool. Like, the top is so beautiful, and the trousers are so fun. It's a really pretty top and I feel like I really want to keep it, but then I feel like what's the point if I didn't wear it? I mean, I never wore it, so I cannot keep it. Next I have this dress, which you may recognize from my Silk Fred haul. And I kept this because I wanted to believe in it. Um, but I just don't think I do. It's a little bit long for my personal taste. But I know so many people don't love wearing super short dresses, so I do think this will be perfect for someone. It has birds on it and loads of like really lovely details, but it's just not for me. Then I have two of my most beloved dresses. This is my Millie Macintosh dress. It's buttoned down the whole way and it's just so beautiful and classic looking. It's so, so cute. And then this one from Zara, which I got like three years ago now. I got it around the time my YouTube was kind of kicking off and I wore it to loads of events. So it does have memories but I do really love the dress. I think it's very classic. And then I have this, which is a jumpsuit from Warehouse. And honestly, I tracked this down. It was one of those things. It was out of stock on ASOS forever. And I just refreshed, 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 refreshed for like two weeks until I got it. Um, and then I never wore it. It's never been worn, which is ridiculous because it's very pretty. I love these off shoulder sleeves, but to be honest, I didn't wear it. So I feel like if it was gone, I wouldn't miss it. So it's going. This is a little pink play suit from ASOS. It's very plain 
and this is actually ASOS tall. I think it's a nice kind of lounging around the house in summer uh, play suit, but even then I feel like it's a little bit plain for me, so I'm gonna lose this. Then I have this dress, which is pretty little thing, which I love. It's so boho, I feel like it has quite a Chloe vibe, um, and yeah, I think it's really cute. I also have this little white cotton dress from Jack Wills, which I just love. It's kind of like brodery, very pretty and very classic, and it's just one of those really lovely, just simple summer dresses. Then I have this, which is a lace dress from River Island, which is like off the shoulder, and it has these really like floaty sleeves. And I think I'm gonna get rid of this because I wore this in Capri, and I just didn't feel like, I felt like a hundred dollars, not a million, you know? And I just think, I don't have time to wear things that don't make me feel like a million dollars. Next I have this dress, which should have been with my occasion wear, but it wasn't, it was with my summer wear. Um, this is a Jones and Jones dress. It's a little like tutu dress. I did an Instagram shoot in this dress and then never wore it again. Then Coco wore it for a wedding. My mum just kind of like pinned it in. And I think I'm just gonna get rid of it because it takes up quite a lot of space and I've never really worn it, so goodbye. Then I have this play suit, which my first reaction was to get rid of this, but to be honest, like it's so so cute and it's so just easy to wear it's one of those really like non fussy outfits that you can just throw on if you need to pop out and it still looks really cute so I actually think I'm gonna keep hold of this one then I have this yellow dress this is from Lipsy it's short at the front and long at the back and I think it's really pretty I don't I'm not in love with it but it is really pretty and I just want something in my wardrobe that's not pink so I'm gonna keep hold of this for now we're getting to the end as you can see look at this space this has never happened in my life on this hangout I have this pair of shorts firstly these are from Fashion Union and they have little frills on the front and I think I'm gonna get rid of these because they were a little bit see-through and I'm not like mad on them so gonna lose those and then I have this skirt which is really cute I wore this to a party and I wore it for an Instagram shoot but they're both quite like unique experiences and I feel like I wouldn't wear this again even though it is cute I'm just like when will I wear this so it's going then I have this little white play suit and I feel like I've gotten my wear out of this you know it's not one of those things that I never wore I feel like I wore this a few times I enjoyed it but it's kind of done now like I'm done with it then on this hanger I have my button-down suede at skirt this one I think yeah it's from New Look and yeah I'm gonna get rid of this because I have a much nicer one from Zara now then I have these shorts from Miss Selfridge I really love the color of these and love like the paper bag detail and they're nice and high up on the waist and I feel like I'll get lots of wear out of these again so gonna keep these we're on to the final few things okay first of all this top which just fell down this is really old from Miss Selfridge I think I bought this when I was like 18 um, and I loved it for so many years but I haven't worn it in like two or three years now and I was kind of holding on to it because I loved it so much much at the time and it was kind of like you know I couldn't get rid of it but now I think it really is the time I have to streamline it's really the time to start to move on next I have my Chanel Oberlin top this is my cute little feather crop top from Pretty Little Thing I just don't think I'm gonna wear this again it's adorable but when am I gonna wear this probably never then I have my pink Hollister denim jacket with a cute little um, floaty white top underneath. I think it's from a Selfridge. I'm gonna keep both of those because I think they're both really easy things to just throw on, you know, on a warm day. Then I have this little midi dress from Boohoo. This was really cute and I did really like this last year, but I just feel like it can go. Like it's not super, super special. I don't adore it. And then finally I have this cute little Hollister play suit, which I really like. I just think it's a really cute pattern. I cannot actually believe what I'm seeing here. This is like never happened. Wow, oh my god, I can actually see the clothes I have right now. This is amazing, and yes, I know the pole is bending. Everyone always comments on the bending pole, and I'm like, yes, I know, it represents my life. <laughs> So that is it for today's wardrobe clear out. I feel so good right now and I just cannot wait to get these packaged up to you guys and send them away and enjoy this new space. I do also have quite a few bags that I'd like to clear out. So let me know if you'd like a dedicated video to organizing and clearing out my handbags. Comment down below if you'd like to see that. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're new and don't forget that everything I cleared out today in my video will be listed on my Depop account over the next few weeks. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!